what was the goal behind this uh, report and survey? One of the things that that is happening in the Java community is that the Java itself continues to thrive. Um, the Java is developed in in a very successful um, open source project that's called OpenJDK, and the members of the Java community, which consists of of companies such as Azul and Oracle and Amazon and Microsoft and, and Google and IBM Red Hat. So it really is uh, a who's who, if you will, of, of you know, the most important uh, enterprise software companies in the world. We all collaborate together in an open community, an open JDK, in order to be able to continue to advance Java and improve its features, capabilities, performance, these types of things. And so all of Java is developed in, in the open source community. Where the Java runtime itself comes from, even though the source code is there, different vendors have different distributions of, of the Java runtime. And historically, because of Oracle's acquisition of Sun, the majority of that Java runtime was coming from Oracle. And what's happened over time is that because that the license terms under which uh, Oracle licenses their the Oracle Java runtime as well as how much they're charging for that, that has changed considerably um, over the course of time. And just as a point of fact, over the last four years, there's been four different changes to the license, licensing and or the pricing terms, how Oracle uh, provides their, their Oracle Java runtime. So as a result of that, there's been a um, kind of an unsettled uh, community of users of Oracle Java, and there actually has been a migration away from using Oracle as the predominant uh, Java runtime and moving to others that are still based on the same source code coming from OpenJDK. So it's very straightforward to do these types of, of migrations because it's all coming from the same source code, right? But um, uh, customers and enterprises are doing that uh, for a variety of reasons that we can talk about. But the reason that we specifically did this survey is that, again, citing the data that we we saw from the State of Java survey in 2023, about 98% of enterprises that were using Java. Other um, data that we have and, and others have publicly reported about is that um, in not so long ago, 2020, over 70% of Java uh, of users of, of Oracle, of users of, of Java, building Java applications, et cetera, over 70% were using the Oracle Java. Now that's below 40% and continuing to trend down. And so we wanted to study why that was the case and you know what is going on in the Java community and, and what are the decisions behind uh, people moving away from, from Oracle Java. And we think it's important not only for the community to, to understand the experience that the users are having in terms of migrating uh, off Oracle Java, but also the reasons why and what's important for developers and, and DevOps teams when they make a decision to, to change, what's really underneath that change and what's driving that change. And so that was the, the origins of the survey um, and, and uh, to be able to learn from it and obviously then, then uh, educate the community on the findings.